Hello, dear friend. <clears throat> this is Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad that you tuned in on me again for another short message, about a 10-minute message I want to bring to you from the Word of God. And I'm entitled this message, Make Your Decisions According to the Word of God. We all have the opportunity and the obligation to make decisions in our life. <clears throat> It becomes part of the way that we live, is the decisions that we make. And I think it's best for us to try to, as far as possible, as far as it's in us to do, is to make our decisions according to the Word of God. So that means you need to read the Word and know what it says, and then try to live by it. The Bible says over in Psalms in 119, a verse uh, that is important, and it's in verse 59. Oh, Lord, I, I thought on my ways, and I, my feet turned to your word. I thought on my ways, and my feet turned to your word. So here he is saying that he, he, he was facing some situations in his life, and he thought about them, what he should do, and his feet was turned to the way of the Lord. In other words, his... He made his decisions according to the Word of God. Uh, to the Word of God. Oh Lord, we need to see that. We need to see it. I thought on my ways, and my feet turned toward the Word of God. And that's important for us to see that all of us have decisions to make. And some of them are very important decisions. One of the greatest decisions you can ever make is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. <clears throat> Believe in Him <coughs> as your Lord and your Savior. When you do that, you're saved forever. Over in Luke, in the, in the uh, uh, brother John, the first chapter of John, it says this, he, Jesus came into His own, and His own did not receive Him. But as many as received Him, to them He gave power to become the children of God. And so you that believe in Jesus, you receive him. That means you accept him as your Lord. You ask him to forgive you and come in your heart and to take over as the Lord of your life. That's receiving him. As many as received him, to them he gives power to become the children of God. You're a child of the King. You're a child of God. And you'll always be a child of God when you're born again. What a beautiful blessing. And so we need to see the truth. That is, that the decisions we need then to start making our decisions for God and try to live the Christian life. Try to live a Christian life. Bible says in Luke, the first chapter, Jesus said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. And this is for men and women, and it's for everybody who would follow Jesus, deny yourself. First thing is try to keep self below the desire and the effort to please God and even to please others. Try to keep self clear out of the picture as much as possible. It's not possible to live completely all the time without a thought on self, but it's possible to keep it denied to the point where it does not rule over your life anymore. And then Jesus said, if you gain your life, you're going to lose it. If you gain your life, that is, if you live a life like you want to live, you don't read your Bible, you don't pray, you don't go to church, you don't really believe in God, and you're at least you're not believing that He's interested in you and your daily walk. If you save your life like that, live your own life, you're going to lose it. But if you lose your life for my sake, you shall save it. If you lose your life, that is, if you put Jesus, number one, in your life as best you can, and every day seek to please Him and honor Him. Every day call on Him and ask Him to help you to keep Him first in your life. To try to do what pleases Him today in every day of your life. And so it's important over in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, another good scripture is in the 10th chapter in verse 31. Whatsoever you do in this life, 
whether you eat or drink, or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. And so try to remember that verse, 1 Corinthians 10, 31. And that is that whatever you do in this life, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Try to do what you do to please God, just to please Him. Amen. Because we never know when we're going to face Him. And we ought to live as if we might face Him soon. Jonathan Edwards once said, I resolved to live my life that I wouldn't be afraid, I would be afraid to do anything if I knew it was my last hour to live. I resolved that I, if I will not do anything that I would be afraid to do if, it, if I knew it was the last hour of my life. Well, praise God, this may be my last hour and it may be yours. We don't know, but we know this, that God knows and he holds us in his hand and we're safe until we get home. Amen. And so praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for this is part of the wondrous thing about the Christian life. <clears throat> if the Christian life is false, <clears throat> then it's not important anymore. But if it's true, then nothing else in this life is more important. Praise God. To live the Christian life. To make your decisions according to the word of God. And may the Lord bless you. And may you make those decisions. And may you say with the psalmist, I thought on my ways. And my feet turned toward the word of God. Amen and amen. Living for him is what is so important. One day at a time. Whatever you face, you're not alone. The Lord is there with you. He's going to help you through this day, this hour. Just keep looking up. Keep on going because God keeps on loving you. Keep on going because God keeps on forgiving. Keep on going because God keeps on keeping on for you. <clears throat> Amen. Living for Jesus, a life that is true. <coughs> Striving to please Him in all that I do. Pledging allegiance, kind-hearted and free. This is the pathway of blessing to me. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to Thee. For Thou in Thine atonement didst give Thyself for me. I own no other master. My heart shall be thy throne. My life I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for thee alone. Living for Jesus, who died in my place, and bore on Calvary my sin and my disgrace. Such love constrains me to answer his call and follow his leading and give him my all. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give my life to thee, for thou in thine atonements didst give thy life for me. I own no other master, my heart shall be thy throne. My life I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for thee alone. O living for Jesus through earth's little while, my dearest treasure, the light of his smile, striving to bring the lost to redeem. Oh, praise God, praise God, seeking 
to bring the weary to find rest in him. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to thee. For thou in thine atonement didst give thyself for me. I own no other master, my heart shall be thy throne. My heart I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for thee alone. Amen. God bless you and help you to live for Christ and make your decisions according to the Word of God. If you need to pray with me, pray this brief prayer, asking God to forgive you and come in your heart and to save you from a devil's hell and give you a home in heaven. Pray with me a prayer and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe they're all forgiven. And that means they're all forgotten. Hallelujah. Oh God, I believe that you rose again. And I believe you're coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that and then find your good church and worship God with his people. Amen. May the Lord bless you. God loves you and I love you. Be strong in the Lord. Make your decisions according to the word of God. Amen.